Hey YouTube, this is Bill. Uh, this is going to be a part two of the video I just did comparing, it was a kind of a shootout between the S1 Pro and this QSC CP8. And if you watch that video, it was a draw. Both uh, speakers are excellent. Uh, you have to just pick which one for the, for the occasion. With the S1 Pro is the wonderful battery powered unit, super lightweight, even lighter weighted than this, Bluetooth, but uh, I showed in the last video that this is a much more powerful speaker. I didn't do a demo, I didn't do a sound demo, so I thought I would do that this time. And I, I looked at the statistics a little more carefully, and I stated in the last video, I said the CP8 that we have in front of us, the QSC, is about twice as power, twice as more powerful as the Bose S1 Pro. And I'm gonna to have to correct myself doing the math. So let's go back, the S1 Pro, it, the maximum statistic from Bose is 109 decibels. And I said uh, you, the two of the S1 Pros would equal one CP8. And I think that's where I was mis mistaken. So let's do the math again. So 109 dB is, is the max. And when you add a second S1 Pro, that adds about three decibels. I've done that testing in the, in the past and it, it's, those are true figures. So let's say the two S1 Pros are 112 decibels. Well, the CP8 in front of us here, the QSC, goes up to 124 decibels. So if you do the math, 124 minus 112, that's 12 decibels greater still from this single speaker. And again, I said in the last video or previous videos that acoustic science tells us anything over 10 dB is doubling of sound pressure or what, what, what we perceive with our ears. We will perceive double the volume. So this is past 10 dB, this is 12 dB. So my correction, I'm gonna say that one CP8 is equal to four S1 Pros, maybe even a little more, maybe four plus. So I wanna show you the sound demo. Um, it's, it's super clean, and the fact is, it's always the S1 Pro super clean at volume, but this particular speaker can keep going and going. It has that headroom that the S1 Pro does not have. Today, I'm not running in battery power. I'm not using Bluetooth. So I'm doing pretty much a standard setup that people that own the CP8 would use. Because I, I mentioned it's more of a live sound speaker. So uh, live sound musicians aren't using Bluetooth as much. They're not using battery power. They, they, they want to depend on the AC. So that's I'm doing a more traditional setup today. And of course, I'm still using the wonderful Bose S sub one and it just had a firmware update and i haven't found its red line it's just it's super loud for its size in my book it is the best mobile sub out there it's the lightest that performs anything like this it's 35.5 pounds it's kind of like a big suitcase think of a think of a loaded suitcase going to the airport that's about the form factor of the sub one and how it feels so so I got one QSC CP8 on top, 21 pounds, with a pole and one subwoofer. This is, this is a real micro system. So in, in my eyes, maybe this might be bettering the, the, the previous micro system that I had said was so impressive. But that was two speakers, that was two S1 Pros. So anytime you can lighten your load, instead of carrying two S1 Pros, two poles, uh, it makes a big difference. So let's see, I'm ready for the sound test and let's see how it sounds. Let's talk about the price of this QSC system, CP8. And I'll tell you one thing, it's a great time to be in the market for a small system like this. There's just so many choices at a pretty good price. Okay, so the CP8 uh, is $400. And we talked about matching it up with a Bose Sub-1 for $800. It doesn't have to be the Sub-1. There are other good subwoofers. 
in a similar price range. It's just that in my mind, if you're thinking about the micro system, this is the lightest way to go. Uh, one of the downsides of this CP8 is it doesn't have reverb. So if you need reverb, uh, here's a great little mixer that's very popular. I can recommend uh, the Yamaha MG6. It's fairly reasonable at $130 and it gives you a couple more extra channels and it's built really sh well, well made. Then of course, you need a couple of cables with, this, with the QSC system. So you're talking about $1,300 or so. Okay, so here's the competition. For the same price, $1,200, you, you can get the Bose L1 Pro 8, which is a brand new system out this year. Of course, it has the reverb built in, it has the Bluetooth. It's very light, 31 pounds. So it's even lighter than the um, Sub 1 base unit, which is 35.5. And let's look at some of this statistics. It's 240 watts is the base unit. Okay, so when you're looking at the Sub 1 with the QSC package, that's, that's more powerful. It's 480 watts, so it's twice the power. So again, some of the confusion that people are thinking is they, the L1 Pro 8 has the same exact racetrack driver as the Sub 1, same size, same driver, but the power is, is double on the Sub 1. So you're getting real subwoofer performance of the Sub 1 with the QSC system, where the L1 Pro is excellent, I've heard it, but it's not gonna give you the subwoofer performance of a dedicated subwoofer. Okay, another favorite system out there, and I, I, I own this system, is the EV30M. Again, it has all your reverb, Bluetooth, everything built in for $1,300. And it's powerful. It goes up to 123 dB, which is right there with the QSC system, which is 124. But again, it goes right here, it goes down to 51 hertz on the low end, with the sub one on the QSC system goes down to 40. And again, this 51 hertz is doing mid, mid bass, where the sub one is just doing low end. So it's gonna be a much different low end performance. Again, the QSC system will be uh, more of a full range system. Another system that I haven't personally heard, but I, I can recommend the company, RCF. They're making this system called the Evox J-Mix 8. It's a little more expensive at $1,400. You don't have to get it in white. It comes in black too. And again, surprising, it goes up. It's the most powerful of the of the systems we're talking about, 128 dB. So that kind of surprised me. It goes really loud. I, again, I haven't personally heard it, but again, it goes down to 40 Hertz, which is the same as the sub one, but I, it'll be close, but it's not gonna have the performance of the sub one. Again, it's doing mid, mid bass, where the sub one is just doing your lowest frequencies and it's in a dedicated subwoofer cabinet. So I do believe of all the systems we're talking about, the QSC system with the sub one will go down the lowest. And that's about it. So uh, very close in price ranges. You're talking about between $1,200 to $1,400. And it really comes down to what you, what you need uh, individually. For the sound demo, let me show you the hookup. Super simple. So on the CP8 right here, uh, there is a DSP setting, EQ, so I have it on default exterior sub. So what that means is there is a high pass filter where probably at 80 hertz and above, it goes to the top to the CP8. Anything 80 and below goes to the subwoofer, and that alleviates um, 
stress on the top. It can go louder and cleaner. So that is the best way to do it. Uh, here is the hard wire, the 1 8 inch on channel three. That goes to my phone. Again, most people would be using a mixer in a, in a uh, live setting. The subwoofer is one cable from the output of the CP8. It's an XLR out, and that goes right to the sub one. Right there, channel one, XLR in. And then here is my volume on the sub one at one o'clock. As I said, there's no, there was no clipping at one o'clock. It's on green and it's super loud. So simple setup, one, two, three, one, one top, one subwoofer and incredible volume. So again, I, I, I don't know how to say it. This is such a fast setup. It's just the perfect setup for, I would probably go to 150 easy, 150 people easy. Can it go higher? I don't know. I've never tested it, but with the headroom of the CP8, uh, I wouldn't doubt if it could go 175, or maybe 200 people. I'm not sure. I don't do DJing and maybe someone who with more experience could give us some comments, but I know um, for a fact that if you're thinking of 100 people, maybe max with the S1 Pro, 75 to 100 people, this is gonna do a lot more. Maximum was nowhere near. I had set this up previously. I checked it before I did the video. There was no no clipping light. The, the source, which is the this, the iPhone, is at only eighty percent. So I got still more way of way more headroom on the source, and the subwoofer is at twelve noon. Again, nowhere near clipping. I checked it, and the sub was nice and strong. So this is, this is, in my opinion, now, after all this testing, this is the best micro system because it's only one speaker. So sure, if I got two CP8s, that would be even better. But, but you know, the more you get, the more you have to carry. But as a small system, quick out the door, quick load in and out, one CP8 on top, one pole, one sub one at 35.5, I would have to say this is, this is my best micro system that I've come up with. Incredible. Of course, uh, you're gonna use a mixer probably. You're not gonna use Bluetooth. You're gonna hardwire it. Most people say it sounds better uh, than Bluetooth anyhow. So very, very impressed. The sound was crystal clear. I hope you can hear that. The bass was strong. So hope you enjoyed. Short video. Later. <laughs>